items here and I've got to get everything ready for fishing tomorrow. I still have not loaded the boat up in the truck yet. So I got to get everything going. Anyway, uh, we have a package from Tackle Warehouse. No, that is a, evidently Jay shops at Tackle Warehouse. That's from Jay and that is a mystery, but hang on. So I got, if you guys watched the live stream last night, I told you I was going to Bass Pro and that's exactly what I did. I went back up to Bass Pro we picked up this color, and if you guys remember right, I was working on our frog that we got. The, uh, let me break it out real quick. i got to get these organized. I have not cut the legs yet, but I was working on that frog to get it to where I want to have hookups. I felt this one wouldn't be as hooked up as well. That's a Z-Man frog, and I told you we'd be comparing it. Not to any of my old nasty Booyah pop and pad crashers because they are junk at the moment. I need to figure out how to get them legs kind of limbered back up and straight. I mean, it'd probably work, but they'd be better, I think, I feel. So I was hoping this thing would have a little, I wanted this uh, this one here to have a little more yellow or chartreuse color in the legs somewhat, but I guess that probably does not matter. And I guess I could maybe add a streak of color here or there if I wanted to. But I wanted this color, I went to my normal color. Here's what I've that's what I fished for years, not this frog. This frog, if you guys heard the story, is unlucky compared to the maybe one or two I had previously for that. Still caught a lot of fish. You can tell it's been banged up. But I think I cut the legs a little too short, and then the legs did that. I don't remember them doing quite that bad in the past. But anyway, I got this color because of basically Matt Allen talking about he, his favorite color was a chartreuse frog, belly frog. And this one's always had a little bit of yellow, but I don't know. I just... I was like, I'll, I'll give them a try. So if I'm going to be comparing frogs, I figured I'd get all with that chartreuse belly and watch them suck and watch me for, you know, watch me not do that good with them. But anyway, so let's open this one up. Now, this is one I had not seen before either. Now, I've heard of and seen scum frogs forever, but this one, it's already got the legs cut shorter. They're kind of more flared out than most of your frogs typically are. Most of your frogs aren't quite sad. They kind of hold that flare a little more. So I don't know how to walk in the water. We'll just have to find out. They're all roughly the same, well, kind of the same size. You can tell these two are about the same length, but that pop and pad crasher isn't far off. If it had a, this one is a popper, but it still has a point to the at the top. Otherwise it would be close to that size. It's a little bigger than a round overall. Hello. So anyway, these are going in the shootout. Even though that one doesn't have a true all the way uh, chartreuse, it is kind of yellowish. It's hard to make out. In camera, it looks white, but that is actually not a white. It's a very chartreuse off-white color. So almost three different colors of a yellow or chartreuse belly kind of deal. So we'll figure it out. I'm hoping they all get bit and I just can figure out the hookup ratios. But uh, in that during that video, when I was watching Matt Allen talking about the chartreuse ones, you know, I'm like, OK. And I heard him uh, comment on the, the scum frogs being the soft, which they are. The older ones, the problem with the older ones, if you guys know the story about the old scum, they were like so light. They were hard to throw with anything. And a lot of times every the fish kept when they hit them, they knock them completely out of there. They couldn't even get them like they knock them up too high. So. They've kind of revamped to how they've done these. And I can tell you right here, see that crazy gap? This thing's gonna fill with water so fast. I can't believe it's got a gap like that. I would think it's gonna fill with water so fast. I know some guys, even back in the day, even with like these, would actually take a, like a silicone glue type deal and glue that to where, and then a lot of guys will there's kind of tricks to do this. You see it's got like a hole where you could squeeze out the water, but I've seen a lot of guys seal off the whole bottom and then make a hole up higher, almost like you would on a boat, right, to where your wallet's sitting there, if you're, especially if you're going slow, it, it won't fill it with water as fast. But it's usually not a big deal. You just, when you come in, you got to squeeze them out, right? This one definitely looks like it'll be needing to squeeze more. But it may even ride lower, and it may just work better. And we're going to try them on... Hookups, if we get any bites, but just how they come through cover. And this one, I like how this one 
I think this one will be a good one. Now, it's not a popper. I didn't see one in the color I liked in a popper. I'm hoping tomorrow morning we get to try all of these out. Now, this one, as you can see, won't need anything cut. I won't, I'm not going to put a rattle or nothing. I'm going to throw it just like it is. I'm going to throw this just like it is and this one without rattles, but I am going to cut them legs down. Look how long these legs are. Now, those legs, in my personal opinion, I wish they were a touch longer, but we'll, we'll try them. These, I'm going to start out a little longer, and like I mentioned, I'm going to cut one shorter than the other. I'm going to cut one about an inch, one an inch and a half to start with, and I can go from there. I'll do both of those the same way. I think my old buddy is going to kick in, and I think this bait is going to be my new lucky frog. I think this one's going to get hit and suck for hookup ratios, but I bent the hooks out. It may not. It may surprise me. I think this one, if it gets hit, it probably stands the best chance of getting hooked up because it already has all this stuff gone, and I can already feel that, like, when I run my finger, it doesn't take much. The only thing that's misleading, it's not as, uh, this side, I can already tell you, is uh, softer, drops quicker than this side. So there may be a trick to making sure it's straight or something. But I think it's perfect about the right way they got them. They got like these perfect little gunk guards, but then they're, it's real soft body. So it doesn't take much of it. You know, once that fish grabs it, it's probably all it'll take. This should have good hookup ratio. All right. While I was a bath pro, I, if you remember right, I got all these others when I was up at Rogers Sporting Goods. All these other different colors we're going to try out. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it. But they didn't have hot snakes at all. Now, they had hot snakes and a baby goat, but not the goat at Bass Pro. So I picked up these. We'll be able to run these on our little green jig and then wherever the other one is. Oh my god. And then on our little orange jigs we'll be able to run the orange. Right? Green pumpkin orange and then our hot snake on our different small jigs. So let me jump to uh, let's just uh, open what Jason is. So we got all these frogs. I got to work on those tonight. I got a lot of stuff to do before I go anywhere. So we got this from Jay. Let's see what it is. Let's see what I came from the scissors. What do you need, Noah? Jay wrote me a note. You guys can't read it. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not going to read it to you either. But let's see what he sent. Now, this is a real, I think Charles, I can't remember, Jay probably, and Charles know more about these and about the whole issue, which one Jay has, which one Charles has, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to ship this right back to Jay when I'm done with it in that box so I can't destroy the box. It's just an old tackle warehouse box. I got 50 million boxes. So, Jay wanted me because he thought you guys would like to see, uh, like my take on this reel so this is one of these little sabers i think the real this may be the one the real test did a deal on and then charles has one or two charles threw one of the, his in the pond in a thing so it comes with a little tool i guess it comes with that and then a little saber reel protector that's actually a pretty cool little one i end up just using socks so we'll keep all of this stuff to throw right back in when we're done. I don't know, uh, Jay, whenever you watch this, I don't know if I'm going to get out. I guess I can use this tomorrow right off the bat and fish with it a little bit. That is a little dinky reel. I don't have uh, the Conquest. Charles has it to compare it to, and he may have it tomorrow. But that dude is little. What'd you need, Noah? Nothing. Oh. I thought you needed something. Let's see how Jay has it set. That's probably close to where I would have it set. That feels good. Not too heavy. You got the real hand on the wrong side. But hey, I'm not going to knock it. So I think, I can't remember, uh, if you guys look, read in the comments, Jay, you have to, I can't remember what 
what these cost, but I think they're pretty cheap. I want to say they're 58 or cheaper. 48, 58. This may be the one that's a little bit more expensive. I don't think Charles has one this small. Charles's was about the size of the, uh, oh shoot, the Calcutta, the Conquest BFS. And I think this thing's a lot smaller. So I'm not even sure what line. He's probably got it all in this note telling me what everything is, but that thing, I don't know if I care for these. They look cool. I don't think I like the feel. I definitely won't, wouldn't like them in the winter. I would definitely switch those up. But that little uh, handle's cool. Carbon fiber handle. 11 plus one ball bearings. Adjustable, I'm taking it. It's just a magnetic style braking. So if I can figure out which... Uh, Thing to put this on and get out and uh, try to use it tomorrow. Maybe even to throw, I don't even know what I'd throw with it. What I really need is another uh, reel to throw some chatter baits, but I don't know. We'll rig this up. We're not throwing no frogs with it. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty thin line. But anyway, uh, thank you very much, Jay, for sending this to us. We'll be able to check it out. And I guess before I share any links or have Jay send me a link or anything like that, I'll, I'll get out on the water, give you guys my idea of what I think of it, and then uh, we'll worry about how you get them. But they're on AliExpress. You guys have probably seen them before. I'm sure if you punch in uh, Saber, you can track down. There's a bunch of different round reels on AliExpress. There are a ton. There's actually some higher end looking ones that are a little more expensive. And then there's some of these cheaper ones. There is a bunch of round reels on AliExpress. So yeah, we're going to keep all that stuff over here. We'll set this reel right here for now. Look at that, it matches my frogs. Not a, not a frog reel though, sorry. So let's move right on along with... Uh, and we'll talk more in depth on the reel at some other point this was just an unboxing it happened to show up at the same time that everything else did so let's go with i think this i think this is a tackle warehouse package that does not have the tackle warehouse uh, traditional branding on it so let's just open it upside down so i ain't gotta worry about you guys figuring out stuff so yeah i think this is it get open beast this is it why it's in this kind of box i guess it was i don't know so we've got our tackle warehouse order let's just i'm gonna move this out of the way i don't have enough room i'll just show you guys what's funny is i had to look again that, that's one downside with tackle warehouse as they've gotten bigger they're shipping I'm going to use the word sucks compared to what it used to be like. Like Tackle Warehouse, and you guys comment if you've dealt with them over the years also. And I'm not saying it's, it's definitely faster than AliExpress. But I felt like I used to be able to, like by Monday or Tuesday, if I put in an order, I had it that Friday. Like it was, a two, like it was pretty fast, and it was free. You know, you spend 50 bucks, it was free shipping, and they got the stuff to you fast. Now... You're like, you're not a guarantee. Like you run out of something on Sunday, uh, you jump on there even say, you know, Saturday or Sunday, jump on there over the weekend, put an order in. There's not, it's not a hundred percent guarantee you're going to have it for the next weekend, which that kind of sucks because that was what was cool about tackling. You know, they carry so much stuff and you could get it. Like, you know, that's one thing about Bass Pro Shop being right down the road. You can run right there or Cabela's and just pick it up if they have it. Problem with Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, they don't have as wide a variety of stuff they got it but you got to order it also but i think they could actually have it to you uh, pretty quick nowadays or amazon right amazon's like the next day you're like dude get out of my yard i just ordered that so anyway riot baits that's the color that me and matt were tearing them up on i couldn't figure out where i was tearing them up on when nothing else was working and i tear them up i say like maybe five fish but 3.5 little fuzzies in the slayer that's the color that was scratched off and i couldn't figure out what color it was that Slayer color, there's a Kush and another one that come close to that. But that's more of a true green, like a watermelon kind of deal. And then a purple, like on both sides, it's more intense colors. 
So I got a couple of those just so when I need them, they're there. And then the, the bait that I, I, you'll probably watch me go out here tomorrow and just tear them up on since I have brand new ones, sprayed grass zinkers. I've been out of the, you know, a good new heavier zinkers and sprayed grass for like a long time. I've been kind of wearing out the uh, other ones. And what's funny is if you look, you note the similarities between the Slayer and a sprayed grass zinkers. Because not all your sprayed grass is created equal. Some colors are different in ones that even say they're sprayed grass. Even in Z-Man sprayed grass, sometimes you'll get different variants. So this is kind of like a sprayed grass color, even though they call it Slayer. That is an awesome color. So then before I decided to go, oh, I also got these. Now these I have not ever seen in person to try, but I figured if that uh, Slayer color was so good, and I heard and kind of seen a few things about these vigilantes, right? You get a vigilante and a Slayer color, you can't go wrong, can you? So I know what you guys are thinking. I'm thinking the same thing. That is not far off from a baby brush hog, right? So I figured I'd try it. And the thing about these, they're supposed to be kind of versatile. So I could shorten that up if I want. And I may do that. You don't, you never know about me. I could actually, these appendages, I can pull them off. Okay, you know, let them flap. Or I can just pull them all the way off. Or I could trim this up to here and have a little bitty uh, trailer for our smaller jigs. You know, I could actually pull these appendages off, cut it here, slap that on, and have just these little tail feather. I could actually cut those off too, and then we just got two flappers. But I just thought I'd get a pack of those in the color I feel is should work and just see what I think of it. Maybe even have Matt try and see what he thinks of them. I'm only going to give him one. He better do good with it. So anyway, I got that. And then before I decided to go all out with the uh, uh, goat from Z-Man, I was like, well, I better get some orange uh, colored stuff. So one last other thing, the zinkers in that. I had, uh, I bought a couple packs of this color like, I don't know how many years ago and never had real great luck fishing these as much as I do on a lot of other colors. So they mainly just sat around. One got shipped to Charles in that little uh, clear out. The other pack had like two or three in it and just I'd lost it. It was sitting over in the corner basically. So when I dug it out, they were all smashed and beat up and I started putting them on our, uh, which is somewhere, where did I do it? Right here, this chatterbait. I started uh, putting, you know, the little tail end of the zinkers on that and started tearing them up. I didn't really have too many other colors with orange in it or any other too many colors too many other baits with orange that to put on there so i got the uh baby rage menace the problem with these are as you might be able to tell in there i can see right now there's only half or three quarters of those with a lot enough like what i like more orange on them there's some orange but it's a darker color but i'll try it But we're gonna try the, the goat and the baby goat because it definitely have some, a little more orange. But at some point, I may end up just running uh, like one of these and you can buy that. I almost bought it at Bass Pro. I probably should have. You'll be seeing me next week showing it. The uh, You can get the chartreuse or the orange. So I could take one of these if I really like, uh, you know, if I don't like the goats and I wanna stick with the baby rage menaces one of these on there with maybe the tips orange or you know put a little orange somewhere else maybe the ticket also for this bait because it does have green and orange on it so and i ha i maybe just i don't think i've ever put just one of these on there so there's a lot of different variances and options to try but then i'd also picked up this one because at the time i think rogers does have it but at the time bass pro didn't have that and i saw it hard candy i just thought well that might that might also be a color I want to try. So lastly, coming from Tackle Warehouse, and I kind of got these. I've been thinking about trying them and some of the colors I like, but I'll be honest, it's just I needed the extra like $15 type deal to make my $50 order. So I got broke down and bought some of these Bandito Bugs. Now Bonsai Guy, he loved these back when they first came out. I remember him fishing with them. 
and he loves these bandito bugs. I'm just not a Guggen fan overall as far as the Guggen. I like some of the individual Guggens themselves, but like as a Guggen fan, I'm not really a big fan. I didn't feel there's a big need for them to come out their own baits, but I've heard decent things about this bandito bug. And what actually made me decide to get him was when I heard uh, Jacob Wheeler talking about how they have some flat, but they don't have a ton of resistance in the water. If you guys have heard me talking about that in bait. So not that I will put them on the back of a, and I'll just get one out to show you guys if some of you may not be familiar with the bandito bug, because it's not a huge bug. Uh, these are... An, these are the 3.3 Bandito bugs. I don't know, maybe they make bigger ones. I can't remember. But anyway, I got these little smaller bugs. That I'll be able to run them by themselves, and I kind of got, which color is this? Bama bug, sprayed lettuce, which is sprayed grass, basically, and then uh, green pumpkin purple. So, yeah, you guys see the colors I'm kind of sticking with. When I really, like, I feel like I slow down, I'm bouncing something off bottom. I've already got my jigs for that kind of brighter, but when I go real finesse, I like that purpley color with some green. It just seems to be, it's like a, I think it's a subtle color that they can see that kind of looks natural, but kind of stands out. So yeah, we got the smaller, I believe these are definitely the smaller ones. I think the ones bones I got had were these huge honking ones. So I want to try the smaller ones. I'll probably also try them because I used to use these and I like these. You can tell the size is roughly, it's roughly the same, almost look close, except this should have a little more flutter to it, but maybe n not the same or no more resistance than, you know, what these do. So that's kind of why I got the, wow, they stink. Oh my goodness. They have a smell to them. Maybe that'll bring me some bites. So anyway, yeah, almost the same colors, but I just wanted some... I just, you know, I got them now. If they work, I got enough to last me a little while, a week, since they're not Z-Man, right? You get on a good bite, three packs a year, whatever, they're gone, man. You get on a good, like, two-day bite. That's mad about that. In the last video, I was joking, well, kind of joking, but kind of the truth. Matt was catching little dinks, and he was going through some bait. We were throwing a uh, chowder bait. And, uh, oh boy, look at that. One, that is a, that's a package. Look at that little thing. These are all, these are from, uh, AliExpress. Two, three. I didn't think I ordered that many separate places. Oh boy, here's the, here. It's what I haven't been waiting for, but I bought a bunch of them. So let's go with the little stuff. And then we got this big, um, honking box so let's get the little stuff out of the way what did i do with this you guys see what i put oh there they are what did i do with the scissors now i might come back and do another one tonight another live stream after i get everything settled in and i'm totally ready just to kind of show you everything because i may go ahead and rig up some of our chatter baits and our jigs even though you don't really want to leave them together too long especially if you're using z-man stuff but just so i have a lot of stuff rigged up where when i get out on the water I won't be sitting around messing around with sticking uh, trailers on stuff all day long. So this should be our, uh, and I don't even know if I, I think I let you guys know, but maybe I didn't, I don't even remember. They are cheap, AliExpress knockoff chatterbaits were even cheaper there for a while. They had this crazy sale and you had to buy like several. hard to get open but they were like literally I think it was two dollars a piece so luckily I lost this one uh, if you guys know the story I bought that reel from Charles the green one that's uh, right here Let me just scan it. that green reel with the purple line on it that's just there not permanent that came from Charles uh, and the line he had on it the uh, oh, shoot, the uh, leader he had, which I was like, well, I don't know. He's like, that's that line I think you don't like. Well, I ended up losing my 3 8 ounce chatterbait 
basically due to the leader. Then if you, that video I, you just watched, if you didn't go watch my fishing videos, please go watch the fishing videos because a lot more of you watch these and watch the fishing videos. But I uh, was fishing with a half ounce one of these and it started working, that color right there. It's kind of like the copy of a Beehive Delight, but it's definitely a more darker, it's like in more intense colors than what the Beehive Delight is. Half ounce was working, and I looked, and I had uh, I had another, I had a half ounce jackhammer in uh, Beehive Delight, but I had the uh, three eighths ounce, one more left, and I let Hannah use it. Well, Hannah eventually, she was catching them, she was tearing them up on it, but then she took my luck, my mojo, and her mojo and got it stuck deep enough we couldn't get it uh, unstuck and we lost it so i've only got one of these right now right there now somewhere let me look real quick there is another one supposed to be somewhere, but yeah i want to open it up real quick and then i'll show you the other colors but right here because for some reason they sell this in a different variation and I, I don't think it's going to be as good but it may work just fine so I wanted to try it. Now it's the same color it's 14 grams so it's the 3 8 ounce ones but they make them like that also I don't know why I don't know if this was a first thing and you can tell that this thing is probably more well it's probably hard to see that thing is more apt to pop open and lose this. I can tell that right off the bat. But they were so cheap, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll just get one to try, right? This is before I even uh, tracked down the uh, chatterbaits that Charles likes, those uh, Mad Bites. So there's the traditional jackhammer knockoff, right? That's almost the same arky style kind of head. The blade should hit it. And then they also carry these. If you guys can make that out so there's a black is not the best color to be using but that's all I got so definitely I'll whip this to white let me get the chatter the blades out of the way so see that's more way more pointed whole different get out of there that is a whole different style of head now, it may we'll just check it it may vibrate a little bit harder but it won't clatter. It, I don't think it'll clatter at all. I think the head won't get in the way. But anyway, we'll try it out. And it's probably more like those Mad Bites. And that's the right size, 3 8 ounce. That's a 3 8 ounce there. We will definitely be able to uh, do some chatter baiting in the morning. Now this bright color, I did not get this to throw. Now, after buying this color to not throw but I planned on turning it into black and blue uh, with gold blades and then I just threw it basically because Charles was like oh I like that color it looks good and I was like okay I'll try it and it went on fire so far this season I bought these just because they're kind of white heads with gold blades right I can run chartreuse I could honestly I could just paint the heads uh, black and do whatever I could do whatever I want to with these because they're only like two dollars each I was basically buying them just for the like you'd buy jig heads right with chatter chatterbait jig heads they're only a couple bucks but I should probably throw one of these leave one of them alone and throw that pink color I could put even a just a string of you know bubblegum pink TRD on it just to throw it right you never know now this one I got like one of each just so I have like that so I've got the half ounce and a uh three eighths ounce and then i did the same thing with these just so i have uh the white with a little bit of blue so i bought uh one of each they were like two dollars each and then of course you guys know this color and this color actually works but they were cheap also so i just bought one of each again not that i even needed them but i mean why not right so i got all those that i really don't even need these are just kind of like just to have they were only two bucks i figured i'd you know i could change up and make my own colors with these because i i'm not a huge fan of that one i've already got a couple and I, i'm not a huge fan of that for some reason it doesn't seem to get bit as well as an all white one or as like that guy with the, the same kind of thing, but the head is a little different color, gold blade, and it, you know, I think it, it's more of a crawdad than that's more like a fish. And I've always said it, I feel anyway, the way I fish him, 
I'm trying to imitate a crawdad more than I am a fish. Not that I don't imitate fish, because you'll see me like when I get on that kick of throwing the white one, I think that's what they're thinking it is, more a fish than a uh, crawdad. So anyway, what is that? Oh my God, are you kidding me? I pictured this thing way bigger than what it is. That just goes to show you, sometimes the millimeter stuff throws me way off. I had this thing pegged at being a, you know, more like a, uh, what you call it? But it actually could be a cool little bait. Look at that little dude. It's shaped kind of like a mega bass. And then they didn't have a bunch of good color selections. So it's got the cutouts. I don't know how well they'd work, if at all. But that is a little bitty bait. Let me try to show you. I don't have my uh, BFS box out. But just to compare it to... So it's more like the uh, Sonora poppers. That is a Pop X. See how much smaller? That's a little dinky one. This is more, and this may be good little baits, like those little Sonora poppers. But I just got, it was pretty cheap, and I just like, I saw it, and I grabbed it while I was ordering other stuff. So there's what it's called. Well, I guess I didn't see the 3.2 grams. I don't know. I just want to, you guys know, you guys have done it too. You get on AliExpress and you start sticking stuff in the cart. And then it sets in the cart so long. Oh, dude, this is the wrong size. That is the little bitty dink. I, that won't fit on none of my rods. I got to read. I've been waiting forever that for these because I'm going to put this color. It matches perfectly with the... Uh, carbon lights instead of having that brown thing on it because I don't want to change those because if they break within like a year or something I can take them back to Bass Pro just get another one if I go hacking on the tail end to add weight they may try to say something so anyway I got to reorder that that sucks I couldn't remember and I tried to look back on my deal and I couldn't remember what size that is I think a medium you want the large I think the large is what I have that fits on most of your rods you're going to deal with all right hang on Look at that little dude. Why they added some... It's, that's definitely a darker color with a little bit of green. That may be a good color because I don't... I, if you remember I talked about it, I don't really like black topwater baits. But that's kind of dark. Then with some chartreuse and just a touch of white. Maybe a good color. We'll have to try it. Now for what everybody has not been waiting for. You guys know what I ordered a long time ago, and I haven't, oh my gosh, look at the corner of that package. It's a good thing they ship them in a styrofoam cooler, right? Yes, it is. So let's see what we got here. Now these, I'm not even going to mess with, worrying about getting them out and uh, using them this probably this whole weekend definitely not tomorrow dark wolf ultras if you guys ever doubt me on liking a reel or not when i order two or three of them you can probably count on the time that i like them so just to get them out and see i want because i'm curious on uh they come with a little it should say tsu on that thought man maybe it yeah it does I'm going to say, yeah, it should be a little real pouch if you, I don't use these for anything. They're kind of cool, I guess, if you store your reels very often or whatever. So, I might as well just get them out and leave them out, right? I will be rigging them up probably this uh, next coming week. If they came sooner than on a Friday night, I just got them rigged up. But So, Dark Wolf Ultras. Ordered them in by the bundles. These were, I got a deal on those is why I bought uh, got them right now because what's weird is the minute I don't know it's something to do with I think the co the color changes on these like look at this when I unbox this one brand new the old one I had looked green this one looks green and this one looks black again 
it's weird. It's hard to explain. It's like they get out and into the air because I've fished this one, but I haven't fished this thing a ton yet. And it's what's weird is it's not it's like you can see if it's where I touched it or maybe the braid. Okay, this braid's bleeding off onto it and it's changing the color, but it's like the whole reel. Look, look at that. Doesn't that look like a different color to you guys too on the camera? It's crazy. I don't know what's going on. See that? That's like a almost a greenish gray, not a black, not a dark wolf. But let's check the braking system. That's what everybody is curious, right? Does it still have the non-dynamic, the magnets don't move? I'm pretty sure it, that all of them nowadays you'll be getting are going to be fixed. Yep, 100%. Nothing moves. You can kind of look. There's no springs. Now, the other one that Charles has two of them now. I sold him my older one that does have the magnets that moved. He got it. I bought this other one. It's just like this one. It doesn't move. So let's get to the other one. And these are going to all be utilized, but not right now. So let's pull the final one out, double check it. Probably one of the coolest just boxes. It reminds me of the old, like, you know what this right here reminds me of? Uh, Big Trouble in Little China. You guys ever seen that movie, Kurt Russell? It just has that cool look, like all stuff coming from China should be like that, right? Let's find it's that crazy bright box and it's a solid, just all black reel. Okay, so there's the other one. I guess I should have felt them on how they feel right out of the box. Feels good. Did the other one feel good? I thought it did. Now what I have noticed, these, the Sonora stuff, the the handle bearings anyway are way better like they spin way freer if you remember right i've commented about the other ones the uh even the uh micro monster and all three of my acuras they spin but they don't spin like this these have all been like very good spinning this is the one i just opened right we're gonna check the brakes on it i think it is yeah i think i, I didn't mix them up did i so yeah i'm pretty sure everything you're gonna get now it's just going to have that fixed, uh, which if you guys haven't watched, go back and watch the video. I took it out when I had my other one, and I put them head to head, and uh, there, it's not, there might be the slightest touch, slightest advantage to if you still own those reels, because in theory, they should work better than these uh, as far as once you get down those real lightweight baits, but that 1.7 gram little dude like the, actually, here he is right there. That little dude right there doesn't care if the brakes are fixed or not. You can cast uh, roughly the, like the same. I, I can't really tell you. I could feel like, oh, yeah, this reel with the, you know, uh, dynamic braking is way better. It, they felt I couldn't really tell the difference. So we've got all of our reels. That dude, is that? Oh, that's dirt. That is by far the best uh ultralight bfs reel even though it, got, it has an mgl spool that reel is awesome the alder baron 22 but 250 whatever they are these i was i've been getting these for like 65 bucks and i'm telling you right now for that little bait right here fixed or not i i feel you can only you can throw it a little easier with like that reel or the, if you guys remember right when I talked about the uh, Alphas uh, Daiwa reels almost all of those are also very good they're a little freer maybe than these by j j just like just a touch that uh, I already forget the name of it now the uh, Airstream Custom and then the Silver Creek is also a very excellent reel. And then the Air TW itself, and I haven't tried the Geico Pigeon, uh, Gecko Pigeon, but it should be just as good as those other reels. They're all excellent reels. But I feel this reel uh, probably 
beats him by a hair, if that, with like this bait, but this is a way more versatile reel. Those other reels, that smaller spool with the less line capacity, you're just limited to, you know, you're only gonna throw ultra, right? which is fine if that's what you're doing, kinda like with these. But even these have a little more line capacity with 10 pound braid, the Dark Wolf Ultras, the Black Knight 2s, you guys know the story. So I had to give it to the Alderbaran 22 as being just that the best period because it'll, it'll, it'll go right with or beat, and that's an MGL spool. They've already got spools, aftermarket spools for these out that I'm sure then it toasts all these other reels. They don't, you can't really get aftermarket spools or why would you want to for like any of the, uh, you can for some of the Daiwas, but not for any of these AliExpress reels. But for 65 bucks, you can get out there and throw all those little bitty baits and cast right there with your buddies, even if they have that or not. You, you gotta get used to, like I've talked about in the release points kind of deals, but very good capable Small, lightweight spools, uh, good bearings, everything works good. Uh, lastly, as I get out of here, because I got a lot of stuff to get going, if you're just now watching this and you're interested in one of these reels or you have one of these reels and you haven't messed with it yet, don't. Uh, I would recommend just, if anything, spray these bearings out because they're super quiet. I'd, I'd probably just leave them alone, let them break in on their own because they do work very good right out of the box. But don't. If you, if you do decide to spray it out, use brake clean. Don't even take this out. It won't eat up none of this stuff. Get your brake clean like you, for your automotive uh, cleaning your brakes. Spray directly into the bearings. And now this one, uh, I don't even think you need to pull it out. I think the last one I did, I didn't pull it out. That, that brake clean's real good. It like doesn't eat any of your plastics, but yet it, uh, it, you don't want to get it on your hands. I get it on my hands all the time, but you don't really want to. They recommend you could get some issues later on in life. But I would spray them with brake clean and then use the very whatever thinnest uh, oil you can get, BFS oil or whatever. But I'm telling you that you don't really even have to do that. You can just go out and just it, it'll get a little better and better. And then because they're they're super quiet and pretty free right off the bat. If you remember right back in the day, I actually took the Black Knight 2 because this is a lighter spool than the Black Knight 2. And I took those ceramic bearings out of the Black Knight 2 and switched them around and it's just kind of like having the dynamic braking or not and the s ceramic spool bearings or not. You really, you might, you might gain a foot, you might not, but you get this crazy noise that uh, I, I really don't like. Th these things cast pretty quiet right out of the box and I wouldn't mess with them. And the reason I wouldn't mess with this pin, and I don't know if you guys will be able to see or not, there is a little, that pin's not pressed in. It, there's an actual little crazy small C-clip on there that you need to have a microscope to pop it off or put it back on. I don't even know if you can make it out. One side's got like a, I can't even make out which side's got the C-clip. Anyway, so that just floats in there. And uh, if you try to take that clip, or uh, just don't do it. Don't mess with it. When this bearing goes out, throw the reel away and buy another one. <laughs> it's that kind of deal. But anyway, leave it alone. It should Those bearings should last like forever. And you can spray them out with them still on. Uh, you can take this one out if you're worried about it. It's, it's fairly easy to take out. That little uh, clip thing can be a nightmare into the magnets somewhat. But I, like I said, I the last one I messed with, I just sprayed it with brake clean with them. Uh, still in and then added just a drop oil to each one and no issues So brake clean that's what I recommend this stuff right here. I got it right here. I got everything. It's right here. It's all right here CRC brake clean Brake parts cleaner, right? Strongest formula ever Non-flammable so don't hurt you. You could eat it. No, don't eat it. Don't eat it Degreases instantly, cleans fast, dries fast, leaves no residue, removes brake fluid, grease, and oil. So basically, it's just going to break down your oils. And so, in theory, you would want them out where the oils would all drain out or whatever. But when you're dealing with new oil, you don't have gunk. Like, I would recommend just, just spray them. It, what it'll do is it'll take most of the oil and whatever is in there, if anything, it'll break it down, make it even uh, what you would call... 
thinner. But then, you know, let it dry. And it dries pretty fast. It doesn't take but like a few minutes, you know. So, like, spray them out. Wait five minutes. Uh, maybe spin them around. Just make sure. They'll probably be kind of loud or whatever. But put a drop of oil on each one. It's actually a pretty simple process once you've done it a time or two. And you don't have to mess with uh, even taking your uh, bearings out. Now, I don't recommend if you, you know, don't just go spraying the whole reel with brake clean. Like, I'll just spray the whole thing then and then oil it. No. Like... But the, when you got the spool out here setting and uh, that other piece, there's you, you're you're good. You're good to go. It won't melt plastic. All right, so that's it. You guys got schooled on how to uh, take care of maintenance of your reels after they're 10 years old. No, you didn't. So no, don't worry, Jay. I'm not spraying brake clean anywhere around this. Just in case you're wondering, we're gonna get this out. We're gonna get our frogs out. We're gonna get Oh, man, I got a lot of stuff to do. All in one night. I am curious to see just how well, because let's look at... Just when I find the ultimate chatterbait, right? These AliExpress knockoffs, 250 350 Most you'll spend is like 350 each. Uh... I almost bought five more of these. I can get five of these. They're still, when they're cheap enough, this color anyway. You can jump on there, punch in five, because it's like $2.50 or $3 to ship, but they're only $1.78 right now. So you could buy five of them for like $14.50. So that's less than $3 each. I should probably just buy five more of these, just so I got that color. Because I've only got that color and that one, three-eighths, and I got a half ounce, and then I got this little funky dude. Should work, but you don't. You don't know. We'll find out. But it is close to our little, this is one of the Mad Bites. So the Mad Bites is even further out. You see how far out those Mad Bites are? That blade, look how far that blade is out. Like it's out and in front of that head. Like it's way out. There's no way that's going to hit the head. And I think that's why it does kind of have a, like a filling in the rod is a firmer vibration. And so this one may also do similar thing. And there's a bunch of chatterbaits on the market that are just like this. Now, in my opinion, I don't like these as well. I like the Z-Man Originals, the Jackhammers, the Jackhammer knockoffs, to where after you use them a while, you'll see that this top of the head, the paint just gets flaked off because this is actually bouncing off there. Part of the chatter, I think, in a chatterbait, the original ones when they came out, is that they're doing that clicking also while this is having a good vibration and making the jig do certain stuff i think that's a touch better in my opinion but there could be times when that is what they want and the other times because all these almost every chatterbait i've ever seen will catch fish now you have to run a trailer on my i still don't know that deal you get into three eighths half ounce or bigger i don't know of any body that definitely they may have caught a fish here or there on accident, but your hookups, your overall just bites, like you have to have something on the back of there, even if it's just a little zinkers. Some kind of soft plastic on the back of your chatterbaits. Now, spinnerbaits I've ran for years without ever putting anything on a spinnerbait. They're just a little bit of a different animal. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Hopefully you like that. Kept it short and sweet. Only a 48-minute video. Yeah, short and sweet, right? Uh, the other night was like an hour and a half. I don't know if anybody will watch that one after that initially watches them. So I gotta organize some tackle, get the boat, batteries uh, loaded up, uh, figure out some rod and reel configurations to get going here because I'm gonna try, start the morning off probably with checking our frogs. I'm gonna try to check out, find out a jerkbait rod, if you guys remember that. I'm gonna do a chatterbait video. I don't know if I'll be able to do it in one day, but then I got Sunday also. So I may go fishing with Matt on, I don't know, we're up in the air. Charles, I'm going fishing with Charles in the morning. But Matt's also messaged me about fishing uh, maybe Sunday. But I, I think I was going to go again with Charles. But who knows? Who knows where I'll end up? You guys will see the videos. I got one more video when I was out by myself. The bite wasn't that really that good. It'll be coming out uh, before these other videos that are going to be coming out uh, from me fishing tomorrow. And you know what? There's a little... I just saw that on that reel. There's like a little burr. It may just... See that right there? That's like right out of the box. It's just a little scuff burr, like from the way it's made. 
That is the first one I've noticed on any of these. Does this one have it? It could be in the mold. Actually, look at that right there. If you look, and that's probably just the mold where however these come out is in 100%. Just a little, I can almost make out a, it's almost not a burr. It's like somebody's taking the burr off, so there's a little divot right there. And it's in the same spot. I bet you it's something to do in the molding. Whoa. See it right there? Right in the same spot. So, yeah, I think it's just its one of those little nitpicky deals. If this was a $500 reel, you'd worry about it. $65 reel. Forget about it. All right, we got we got them. We're we got everything. We got the baits. Uh, what am I most anxious to use and fish? I don't. I don't know, I'll be honest. I don't even know. I, I'm at the. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now. I'm anxious to get out and use all this stuff. I can't throw it all on the first cast, but the first cast will probably be with this dude right here. Just because I'm curious and I want I want the first fish. See if this thing will even hook a fish. If you guys didn't watch yesterday, I pried these out some. They're definitely where they could get caught in some grass a little bit, but I'm worried about the hookup ratios. We'll get some bites, and if the hookup ratios are real good and perfect, and it seems like it wants to get caught in gunk, this one's about perfect. This one I might need to be bent in. Not, not down anymore, but bent in just a hair to where it just touches that side. Because this thing definitely has a touch of a firmer feel than the other frog. It's still soft. But it is definitely a firmer, this little ridge right here creates like a firmness to it that these other frogs do not have. These suckers are, they're, you know what I just thought? This, you hear that puffing? Part of what may make this thing feel so soft, I mean it's probably softer metal, but then it's got a huge gap. So if you seal them too much, so this thing would actually collapse faster if it had more air. It's just got that one hole. So I probably should drill, make, punch, whatever, a hole somewhere higher up, just so it doesn't have that. It just drops faster, even faster. It probably doesn't matter. I'm probably losing my mind. This guy, I don't feel it's an air thing. I, I can feel these ribs like working. They work like a, just like if you were building something right you kink in the sides and it makes it stronger and that's kind of what this does i don't know it'll probably be fine let's try it out all right guys thanks for watching we got a lot of stuff going on so get out go bass and bonsai i'm definitely going to be doing some bassing in the morning stay tuned i would like to have the ability to just take this phone and do like a live deal first thing in the morning or sometime when the bite comes on just click on this phone but we're always out in the boonies and i never have good enough reception to like even think about doing that it'd be this jumbled up jargon stuff that you guys i'm sure wouldn't even be able to probably make out what was going on it'd probably be cutting off and on but at some point i may give that a shot i may try to get a setup to where make it capable to do that because that'd be kind of cool you know just a quick five ten minutes like oh wow look at this and wait till you know the video comes out because it's going to be awesome right but anyway, get out and watch those videos. You guys watch way more of these than you do my videos of out on the water fishing. Watch those videos. See you guys later.